The shareholders have never been made aware. Aware. A war, yeah. This is illegal. Jeffrey Bukes has never done anything about it. Curtis Liu, there's conversations on, um, well, you can kind of see it in this channel. I'm going to, I'm showing you some of the stuff from Elliot's channel. The conversations with Curtis Liu. Time Warner knew about it. Um, as recent as six months ago, they discussed it with the inventors. And then just, ah, uh, nothing, right? Now, when you look at JeffreyBukes.com, and well, it's pretty much on a lot of my sites, they had signed agreements, non-compete agreements. They had agreements per minute to use this technology. It's been about 11 years. Hundreds of millions of dollars signed contracts will be soon brought to you in massive shareholder fraud. And Jeffrey Bukes knows about it, right? Yeah. Bruce Sewell knew about it. The Intel people knew about it. The, the CEO, Paul Ottolini of, of Intel, now knows about it. Uh, all of these people know about it, and they just kind of keep their head down. What are you waiting for? Well, uh, you know, you better make a deal with iView it because there's tons of proof. Somebody's going to be making a deal at some point. And that's totally beside the criminal charges that all of you are going to face. And, you know, what? I'm like 40. I got like probably like a good 60 years left, right? Well, then, the rest of my life will be, you know, to proving it more and more every day. And if uh, one of you, you know, actually do, you know, kill me, well, then uh, there'll be plenty of other people to take over my network. It's not going to end with me. So the truth's not going to stop, right? The proof is there. So why don't you just come clean and say, you know what? Oh, my God, we screwed up. I didn't even see it. You know, there was these, there was these piles of paperwork we had with iView it, this, uh, some inventor back in time, and uh, we just totally spaced it out. And, and we've made billions, but we just, you know, kind of forgot that they existed. So I remember now. Come on in, let's make a deal. I mean, the longer you wait, the more prison time you're going to face, and the longer you wait as shareholders of AOL, of Intel, of IBM, of Sony, of um, Lockheed Martin, AOL, Time Warner, Warner Brothers, HBO, all of these shareholders are going to be liable for this. It is a $13 trillion federal RICO lawsuit. Every single company is going to be paying hundreds of billions of dollars. And Time Warner, they have the tightest contracts of all. The U.S. Patent Office is going to be liable. The Department of Justice, what are they doing about it, right? What's the FBI doing about it? Well, it involves the biggest players in politics, the biggest players in you know, war and greed and money, the biggest corporations in the world involved in the I view it stolen technology. So none of them are going to go up against each other. But you know what? I'm going to go up against them all every single day until they take me out. And if they take me out, my network's still going to go up against them. Because it's the truth. These people do not deserve what they've been put through. All of this money that they put into I view it, the, trusting their patent attorneys, the patent attorneys steal it, they try to kill them, they just they do all this stuff to set them up as criminals. What? They invented something amazing. Why don't you just work with them? Everybody makes money, and wow, why in the world does I view it not have a patent on the technology that you're making hundreds of billions of dollars on every single year? I mean, we kind of established the fact that you have no conscience, okay? But where's the Supreme Court? Where's the U.S. Patent Office? The President's Office is on my site looking at this stuff. We've got Foley and Lardner, Prescott Rose. Um, We've got the Department of Justice, the FBI, um, the, all, all these, cr these courts in New York. Everybody's reading it. Everybody knows. All the proof is there. I'm certainly not making it up. They do nothing about it because they're all afraid of each other. They all know stuff. All the corruption will start coming down. I'm going to kick it down. I'm going to keep kicking it down until it comes down. Seconddepartment.com. Check that out about the corruption in New York. There's whistleblowers talking about um, law firms that are, are uh, favored in the courts, right? They actually remove things from files. They actually wipe stuff out. Now, we all know this happens, right? Yeah. But for someone to come forward, like the Christine Anderson whistleblower in New York, it's pretty amazing, right? More and more people are coming forward about this corruption. There is so much proof of corruption on Andrew Cuomo, the New York Attorney General. He's part of covering up I view it, and now he's going to be the governor of New York. I mean, talk about a wall of corruption. What's being done about it? So basically, um, 
iviewit.tv, denypatent.com, and you can read as much about this as you're possibly interested in. But uh, basically, once I started writing about this, um, my life changed, of course, forever. My life changed forever once I started writing about the stuff, um, injustices that I started writing about in Montana. And it's a way of life for me now. Um, uh, another little side note on that. One of the people that have threatened my life uh, emailed me about six months ago and told me to get my affairs in order while I still had affairs to get in order. And this person is in New York, and he's talking to um, my Montana aggressor, and they're all, you know, like, uniting and messing with me. And, um, he was, he, he calls himself the CEO of I View It, and his name is Stephen Lamont. And if you go to stephenlamont.com, that's my site on that, he attacked me for, and basically said I needed to run everything by him and blah, blah, blah. He doesn't work for iViewit. He, he was never legally even allowed to be the iViewit CEO because attorneys told him that there really was no shares and without the patent there wasn't. But he's an investor in it and he's like, he used to be something, some big wig in the company, right? But he's not the owner, right? The founder is L.A. Bernstein. Now, Stephen Lamont has no right to speak for iViewit, but he's out filing court documents even now. And if, if my, if what I do helps iViewit investors, to get their money, and if it helps the inventors to get their patent, if it helps at all. A guy like Stephen Lamont was in to make what? Millions, if not hundreds of millions, I don't know, right? So why attack me? Why would someone who claims to be the CEO of iViewit attack me who's defending iViewit? The only thing that makes sense to me, you know, in my rational mind, is that he's working for the bad guy. I think he's working with Foley and Lardner. I think he's connected to Judith Kay, the ex-Supreme Court judge that is corrupt, that her husband was at Prosecutor Rose, and um, she's protected Prosecutor Rose for all these years, and she's connected to Andrew Como, as we've said in other videos. All of this stuff protects each other, but it makes no sense that the Stephen Lamont would do this unless he's trying to suppress the justice for I view it, right? So if someone's been paying him the last decade to interfere, I mean, he actually sent fraudulent documents to the European Patent Office, and that is proven. StephenLamont.com, I have that document embedded, right? How can he keep doing illegal stuff like this and getting away with it, right? And on top of that, telling me to get my affairs in order while I had affairs to get in order, because I'm defending the company he claims he's the CEO of, which he's not. Makes no sense. So anyway, DeniedPatent.com, um, iViewIt.tv, Go to some of these sites and check out the iViewit story and uh, watch some of the videos of L.A. Bernstein talking about the iViewit story because it really affects us all. The iViewit story is so amazing that basically what it's doing is it is infiltrating the corruption in every corner in the world. I mean, Prosecutor Rose is international, right? So exposing them for all of their crimes and how it's done and how it's connected Exposing them for the Department of Justice connections, the SEC connections, um, the corruption at the New York Supreme Courts, and then you have the, the um, people who govern attorneys in New York and Florida, the Bar Association. They're corrupt and they're protecting the corrupt, it's protecting the corrupt, right? And this, the I view it story, so basically you have this huge massive wall of evil and corruption that's oppressing tons of people. I'm getting tons of stories now, right? And it's just this big monster. Well, the foundation, right, just dark, evil foundation, is being hit by, say, thousands and thousands of little BBs of light from the iViewit story. And just at, at some point, the tipping point, this foundation will come down and they'll all be exposed. The lights will come on and everybody will see that iViewit's been telling the truth all these years. And in that, Prosecutor Rose, Foley and Lardner, all these corrupt attorneys and these corrupt companies, you know, Intel and, and IBM and Lockheed Martin and, and, all, and AOL, Time Warner, all these companies that suppress everybody's rights and keep them down, well, they will be exposed and it will make the world a better place for everybody across the board. I mean, to bring down major corruptions like this, or at least pants them to the point where we demand accountability and transparency, we really do, right? And if you don't do that, we're going to expose you. Okay, I, the I view a story is changing the world in a way of bringing in light 
in a very dark place to mass corruption that's been going since, well, beginning of time, at least a hundred years. I mean, um, you know, J.P. Morgan, Rockefeller type connections that, that's part of all these major corporations, they're the ones that, you know, uh, prevented Tesla from bringing free energy to you. And they did that in the 1880s. And they're still doing it, right? And so that invention was suppressed by corruption, and now you don't know about it. And I'm going to talk a lot about that, that invention, because it's a big deal to me too. But inventors' rights is a big deal, victims' rights is a big deal, and what's going on now is that tons of people are sending me stories on Foley and Lardner, Prosecutor Rose and Greenberg Trog, and all of these attorneys involved. I'm getting stuff. I'm getting amazing stories about the corruption in Intel. You know, huge, massive proof on antitrust violations, violating the Sherman Act, False Claims Act, proof on top of proof on top of proof. You know, um, CEO, Paul Otellini.com, I have that document. Um, well, I have it on several sites, but basically this guy has been like a decade telling the Department of Justice, you know, telling the FBI, telling all these people what Intel's been doing and nobody's listening because, you know, Intel's above the law, like Prosky Rose is above the law. All of these major corporations and major law firms that are running your life, that are keeping us down and lying and hurting people every day, the Ivyuit story is bringing them to justice. And yeah, it's taken about 11 years. And you know what? If it takes 11 years more, they're still going to come to justice. The truth is going to shine on the Ivyuit story because the Ivyuit story is everything. The Ivyuit story helps the little guy in the corner that's crying to me about a $30,000 deal or crying to me about a $6 million deal. It's these same corrupt people. The Ivyuit story is exposing them all. And I love the Ivyuit story. And I've really come to think of it as um, just an incredible, it's just an incredible way to, to show you that how this kind of corruption happens and at a mass level. We all go, well, yeah, corruption happens and there's nothing we can do and blah, blah, blah. And one voice doesn't change anything. Well, I'll tell you what, mine's going to. And I'm telling you, every single one of you can make a difference in telling your story. Email me, crystal at crystalclocks.com. Check out iviewit.tv. Check out denyedpatent.com. And let's um, expose corruption. Let's make the world a better place. Let's be all dreamy-eyed about it. All right? Now, um... Hope you folks have a great day, and um, well, I guess just that. <laughs> Whistleblowermedia.com.